So thank you very much also for uh, proposing me to co-organize uh, this cafe. And my task today is to show linguistic link data in action by presenting a specific uh, product that is to say the LILA knowledge base. So let me start from the end, uh, talking about challenges and perspectives of what the Clarin can do for LLD and what LLD can do for Clarin. And as you have seen in the previous presentations, Clarin collects linguistic data uh, in a centralized repository, but what is still missing is a real semantic interoperability between resources and tools. Uh, even though, as Penny just pointed out, there are several ongoing initiatives on integration in Clarin, like for instance, on metadata about integrating, mapping, converting metadata from heterogeneous resources by using uh, external control vocabularies, shared concept registries. There are initiatives about formats. Uh, Penny has shown that you can launch uh, a resource in the VLO, the Clarin switch will read the, right, the required format from the CMDI, and now you know what the CMDI is, and finds compatible tools. But also, between kind, types of resources, there is this initiative called the Research Families that collects linguistic resources in Clarin per data type to, I quote, facilitate comparative research. So there is this need in Clarin to make resources interoperable. And this is where LLD can prove helpful because in LLD we need linguistic data, but, but on our side, we can provide ways to semantically interlink them. And these ways are, as it has been shown, uh, by Jorge, Christian, and Penny, common vocabularies, ontologies, data categories to represent and interlink different kinds of linguistic resources. And this is exactly what we do in LILA, which means linking Latin. And the LILA knowledge base is defined as a collection of multifarious interoperable linguistic resources described with the same vocabulary for knowledge description which means by using common data categories and ontologies. So basically we make them interact by using the same language. And here you see the reason of my, the title of my talk today, Prefixes Matter, because while Clarin is an infrastructure, one centralized repository where you store, store linguistic resources, instead, as you have seen, the objective of linguistic link data is interoperability between distributed resources, not necessarily, necessarily stored in just one place. And specifically, this is the objective of linking Latin for what concerns linguistic resources for Latin. And this is the architecture of the LILA knowledge base, which is a highly lexically based architecture because we start from the quite trivial assumption that everything in, deal, in LILA deals with words. Lexical resources are made, uh, describe the properties of words in lexical entries. You open a dictionary and you find lexical entries. Textual resources are made of occurrences of words in texts, tokens and natural language processing tools process words, providing NLP outputs. And you see a double arrow here because the output of an NLP tool, a tokenizer, are the tokens, which on their side are the input of other NLP tools, like for instance, a part of speech target. In the LILA architecture, all these components interact by pointing to lemmas. So you can search in all distributed textual resources, the occurrences of the same lemma. But something more is that you can search for all the occurrences in the distributed textual resources of those tokens that are linked to lemmas that share some specific lexical properties that are described by one or more lexical resources in their lexical entries. So given the central role played by lemmas in the LILA knowledge base, we spent the first two years of the project building a big collection of Latin lemmas that act as the big connector of tokens, lexical entries, and NLP outputs. So we did it by applying the Ontolex lemon model, model you have already seen. 
seen it. Uh, I will not enter the details here, but I just want to focus here on the lexical entry class. So a lexical resource is made of lexical entries and a lexical entry can have one or more lexical forms. So for instance, the lexical entry to go in English has forms like go, goes, going, gone, went. One of these lexical forms is the so-called canonical form. That is to say, the lexical form that is canonically used to refer to a lexeme, so the lemma. So what we did was just to build a big collection of canonical forms for Latin according to the Ontolex Lemma model, what we call the Lemma Bank, which is the core of Lila, because the Lemma Bank makes all the distributed resources able to interact. And now we can focus on one specific entry of the Lemma Bank, which is the Lemma Admirer, which means in Latin to admire, to respect. And this is its uni uniform uh, identifier and unique identifier. As you have seen, according to the RDF data model, everything in, ling in linguistic link data and more generally speaking in link data is represented through triples. So triples are made of a subject, a, a property and an object. So here you have a subject, which is this URI that identifies this canonical form, the one for admiral in the Lemma Bank. And then you have a property, which is a predicate, which is as part of speech. And then you have an object, a verb. So one, two, three, a triple. This URI as part of speech. And this property is described in the Lila ontology as part of speech verb. Now, uh, uh, Christian mentioned notes, ages. We will see some notes and some ages. So this is the canonical form for admirer with graphical variant admirer in the Lila Lemma Bank. Imagine that to this node are linked all the occurrences of the Lemma admirer in all the textual resources linked to Lila. But to this node are linked also all the lexical entries in all the lexical resources that for Latin that are linked to Lila. So for instance, this is the lexical entry for admirer in the Latin wordnet. So you see a triple here, admirer lexical entry for uh, in, the, in the lemma in the Latin wordnet is linked to the canonical form admirer in the lemma bank by the property canonical form. And of course, to this lexical entry are linked all the uh, all the Wordnet synsets that are evoked, and this property is defined in the in the Ontolex Lemon uh, ontology. All the Wordnet synsets that are evoked by this lexical entry, and these Wordnet synsets are evoked by other lexical entries of the Latin Wordnet. For instance, the lexical entry estimo and the lexical entry uh, amo. And this Wordnet syncs set as definition to regard highly, to think much of it. And on their side, each of these lexical entries of the Latin Wordnet are linked by canonical form to their canonical form in the Lemma Bank. So these violet nodes are entries in the Lemma Bank. And each of these is linked to its base, which is a connecting node that connects in the Lemma Bank all the lemmas that make use of the same lexical basis. So for instance, the lexical base for amo, like amiculus, amatus, de amo, adamo, and so on. So now that all things are connected, uh, you can exploit the network effect and you can search, you can run queries like, uh, give me all the tokens in all the textual corpora linked to Lila of all the lemmas of all the canonical forms that share the same base, for instance, the one of Amo, and particularly focus on those uh, canonical forms that are linked to a lexical entry of the Latin wordnet lexical resource, and particularly they evoke a particular wordnet synset. What are you doing? You are using a number of 
distributed textual resources together with derivational information from the Lemma Bank, together from, uh, with lexical information provided by, by one specific lexical resource. The great thing is that all these data and metadata are already there in the wonderful lexical resources and textual resources we have built throughout the years, these years. Our task is to make them interact. And I think that link, linguistic link data is a good choice. And I hope that our way to interlink resources for LILA won't be just a, a reference model for publishing linguistic resources for Latin, but also a way to support interlinking in the clearing infrastructure. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.